Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to check in with our May budget for the fourth week of the month. So in front of me, I've got my iPad 12.9 inch. This is the iPad Pro and I honestly have no idea what edition it is. I wanna say it's the eighth edition but I could be completely wrong. <laughs> so it's one of the newer editions, the one that they launched before they have like the M1 chip and all of that kind of stuff. And then this is my Planning to Prosper digital budget planner. I also have my planner sidekick over here where I like to track our transactions. And then I have my Apple Pencil as well. And I'm using GoodNotes. I, I personally prefer GoodNotes for digital planning. I just find it to be the most user friendly and to have the most features that I enjoy and all that kind of stuff but I've heard really great things too about Notability and Note Shelf, Zoto. There's tons and tons of options so anyways let's go ahead and get started. Um, I like to color code my transactions over here so down here I've got my key so anything you see in pink is going to be grocery, orange is household, yellow is gas and then me kind of make that a little bit bigger and then purple is eating out green is miscellaneous income blue is bills and red is unbudgeted so I have all of these um, items the digital budget planner the planner sidekick the budget stickers and inserts everything I use for budgeting outside of of course the iPad itself and the Apple Pencil and the GoodNotes app. <laughs> Those are things you would have to purchase separately but they are available in my Etsy shop which I do have linked down below for you guys so definitely check that out if you are interested in doing a similar system to what I use. Okay so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to just make these transactions over here a little bit larger. So the first thing we're gonna look at is bills and that's gonna be, again, anything in blue. So I like to just track the bills in my little spending tracker and then I make sure that everything has been paid over here. The $65 is for Massage Envy, which I did not write into my budget, and I don't know if like I thought I was going to cancel it or what I like why I didn't put that in, but I think I'm going to actually make that an unbudgeted expense, so I'm just going to change the color on that because I didn't write it in, so it's just a little bit easier to do it this way, I think. So I'll just make that red, and that works. So... Um, let's see, so then I've got Banner Life right here for $22.22, so that was paid. And I like to just mark that off. I'm going to put that down to a point seven. So we'll mark that off. And then the next one I have is for $133, and that is for T-Mobile. I did not know what that bill amount would be, so I'm going to write it in and mark that as paid. APS has not come out yet, and then Hulu did come out for $21.19, so I'm going to mark that off as well. Um, APS, it says that the transaction, like, processed, like the payment processed, but I haven't seen it hit our account yet, and that's where I get all of my transactions from, by the way. I log into our bank account and I track from there. That's the way that I personally like to do it. Um, I do that every morning most of the time. <laughs> Honestly, this past week did not go that way, but not every week is going to be perfect. So, um, so yeah, I like to track things, not when I get like an email that the bill was processed or something, but when it actually hits our account is when I like to track everything. So, so yeah, that pretty much takes care of the bills for now. So the next thing we're gonna do is track our variable expenses, which I like to do on this little weekly check-in page over here. I put the weekly check-in page next to the monthly budget so that I can see real quick what we budgeted in total for each category. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure images is checked off and then we will copy and paste this over to week four. My May budget results video will be up next Wednesday, so anything that happens between now, which today is the 28th, so anything that happens between now and like 
in the next couple days of the month will be tracked in that results video. Okay, so for grocery, that is going to be pink, and we just had one, we did a Walmart grocery delivery, which there is kind of a heavy fee for that, so I don't know that we'll be doing that again, but it was worth it for the convenience, because that day things were just kind of chaotic, and I decided to pay the extra little bit for the convenience. So we had, let's see. 5582 remaining last week. So let's see, where's my calculator? I thought I had it up here. And now I do not. So I guess I'll just use my phone. Okay, so 5582. And then we spent 4798 because I don't think we had any other grocery transactions, right? Yeah, no. So $47.98. So we have $7.84 remaining as of right now. So obviously that's not enough to get groceries. However, we are going to be, well, we already did do our quarterly Costco haul, which I did film. That's gonna be shared in the monthly, like June meal plan and grocery haul video. Um, we do a big Costco haul every quarter, so every three months, and we just stock up on like three months worth of meat and canned goods and household products and things like that. So we did that, and because of just the timing of everything, we're gonna be doing our like grocery shopping for the first week of June, like this week. So yeah, I that 784 will probably just stay as it is, and then we'll have our grocery like trip for this weekend come out of our June grocery budget, if that makes sense, because I'm technically shopping for June. So to me, that just kind of makes sense. Okay, so then that takes care of grocery. The next thing is household. I do not believe we had any household items. No, we did not. So we'll put zero. And last week we had 137 that we were over. And then for gas, that's our next one, we did fill up once and that was for 44 41. We've been filling up a little bit more because Andrew's been doing DoorDash. So we had 44 11 last week. I think Andrew tried to like make it to where it was like as close to the total as possible because yeah, we're negative 30 cents now. So not too bad. And I don't think we're going to need to fill up before June. So I think we'll be okay. And then for eating out, we had quite a few transactions there. So Andrew got a hot dog at work for $1.64. He, his favorite food is hot dogs. I will say it. I don't know if he'll ever admit that, but he will eat hot dogs. Like if I buy a pack of hot dogs between him and Maddie, they are gone within like a day or two. No joke. Like he loves hot dogs. So I think there was one day he forgot to like eat before work or forgot to bring food to work. So he got a hot dog and I just kind of chuckle about it because I think it's funny um, because he eats like insanely healthy, but every now and then <laughs> he likes to eat a hot dog. And then, um, yeah, and I just said he likes to eat healthy, but he did get some Taco Bell while he was out, I think doing DoorDash and that was for $8.30. And then we had a transaction for Panera for $35.47. That was like our main eating out. And then I did go to Dunkin' and I got some like um, wake up wraps and donuts and coffee and stuff like that for the girls and myself um, and Andrew. And that was $7.77 because I had a free drink and I had a little bit left on my Dunkin' app. So, um, so yeah. So $53.00. 18 is what was spent and last week we had 43 27 remaining so we are a little over budget by nine dollars and 91 cents so we will have to 
probably not eat out this week or take it out of entertainment or something. But, um, and then we have those two unbudgeted transactions. Um, I am going to do Massage Envy as 65 as an unbudgeted expense. And then we also had 1074 for the pediatrician for Julia. We do have an HSA card, but I always forget to give it to Andrew. We don't have a duplicate card. Um, so because the bill was so little, we just decided to pay it out of pocket. So that was $75 and 74 cents. And yeah, um, speaking of eating out as well, I don't think we are going to be eating out as much anymore. Um, I actually found this really cool app that I wanted to show you guys. It's called Last, and it tracks like the last time you had fast food, soda, sugar. That is what I'm personally tracking. So I am seeing how long I can go without any fast food, without any soda, including diet soda, and without sugar, other than like obviously like sugar, like natural sugar. Like if I decide to put um, like pure maple syrup on a pancake or we um, eat fruit all the time and stuff like that. So I'm talking like processed sugar, like ice cream and donuts and cookies and things like that. Um, I'll put a little bit of honey in my tea every now and then. Um, and yeah, so that is what we're doing. We're gonna try to not eat out very much. Andrew and I, we're trying to prioritize date nights a little bit more. So on the first and third, Wednesday of every month we're wanting to go to um go like out on a date and on those nights we will probably go get like a nicer meal um you know like we might go get like steaks or something and then on those nights the girls will probably get like pizza or we'll get them like freddy's or something like that um, or we'll just have whoever is watching them make them some mac and cheese but overall, we're trying to just eat a lot healthier. I know for me personally, like I'm on a weight loss journey, so I'm trying to lose over 100 pounds. And honestly, I'm just like hating how I'm feeling right now. Like I just don't have very much energy and I don't know, I just, I feel very inclined to just kind of get rid of junk food and stuff like that because I think for me, it's just, for me personally, it's just very triggering. Like if I have a diet soda, I usually crave something like junk foodish to go with it. So for me personally, I feel like I just need to like cut things out because if I give myself an inch, I will take a mile. <laughs> you know, I'm like that type of person. And that's just me being totally honest with myself. And so um, it'll be interesting to see. Andrew and I still have to go over our June budget and where we want to put things, but I know we're wanting to start swim lessons for Maddie and it's a little bit pricey. It's $40 per week to have her in private swim lessons. So um, we're gonna need to scale back in other areas of our budget to kind of make room for that. And so one of the things that we are wanting to do is to decrease eating out. So. We'll see what that looks like. Um, we have our entertainment budget as well, and I always think of entertainment as like something special we're doing. Like if we go see a movie, if we, if Andrew and I go out for a date night and we go get a steak or something like that. So we might just have like the eating out budget there for like, you know, if we do get pizza for the girls or we get them like little meals from Freddy's or something like that. Um, but then like the majority of it would come from entertainment. I don't know, we still need to figure that out. My June budget video is supposed to be up a week from today, next Friday, so we need to figure it out <laughs> before then. But I just thought I'd mention that because, you know, you guys might see some changes in our upcoming budget with all of that, but, um, but yeah. Let me know if you've given up, like today is technically day one because I've gone Let's see, I've gone eight hours without fast food, soda, or sugar, um, which technically that's not accurate because the last time I had fast food was a while ago, but I think just because I like plugged this in yesterday, I don't even know, maybe there's a way to like change when it started. Um, I know you can put days in there. Let's see if I can edit this. Yeah, I don't think it, oh, start tracking. Yeah, see, it just does the day. Um, which it's not even letting me change that. So anyways, um, 
I just thought it'd be interesting to kind of see like how that um, how we feel like just giving that stuff up but if you've given up like soda and sugar and stuff like that and you have some tips that you want to share with me definitely let me know I'm just really starting to I feel like be more in tune with like how I'm feeling and kind of like I don't know to keep up with my life because I'm so busy I need to feel like at my best I need to have good energy mental clarity the ability to focus and sometimes I feel like if I'm over caffeinated or I'm having too much sugar or I'm eating too much junk like I just feel sluggish I get brain fog all that kind of stuff so I haven't gone very long I just had soda yesterday so we'll see how this goes but I am determined to make it make it happen so anyways random little rant there but just thought I'd update you guys on that so the next thing we're going to do is look at our sinking fund. So we've tracked all of our transactions over here. So I'm going to go ahead and just erase. Um, where's my eraser? There's my eraser. I'm going to erase um, the page here so that it's all ready to go for when I start tracking transactions later. And the only thing that with like erasing the whole page that I'm not a big fan of, like I just noticed like sometimes I don't know where I left off. Um, so I'll like go back and watch like the previous week's like weekly check-in, which works just fine. But, um, that's the only thing I've noticed. So I might stop erasing stuff or I was even thinking of tracking transactions again in my monthly view. Cause I, I used to do that and I, I don't know, I like switching it up. I just enjoy like changing things every now and then. So we'll see what happens for June, but let's go ahead and take a look at our sinking funds. Cause I do have some updates there. So the last time we left off was my personal spending money. And then on Tuesday, I went and got my hair done. You guys will see my hair in Monday's Day in the Life video, which I'm going to start filming here in just a little bit. So yeah, it's very different. Um, very, very different. I really like the color a lot. I am kind of I'm a little like hesitant about the length of it. Like, I don't know if I like the length yet or not. I will just have to see. The good thing is my hair grows back really, really quickly. So I know I used to cut my hair actually this length all the time. Um, and I think maybe I'm just not used to having it as short as it is right now. But you guys will see my hair in Monday's video. So stay tuned for that. And then I did get a lash fill. We did an extra half hour session to just kind of give my lashes a little bit more volume. I felt like they just needed a little oomph. So, um, so that was $80 instead of $65. And then we did get some gifts for Maddie's teacher for the end of kindergarten, which is so crazy. Uh, Maddie, Maddie's last day of kindergarten was yesterday. So kind of nuts, but we just got her some gifts for the end of the year. And then we did go to Costco and we did our quarterly like big Costco haul, which that was $938, which was technically under budget because we budget a thousand dollars every three months. So our Costco like fund will be negative this month, but then starting in June, we're putting money back in there. So that will bring it back to a positive. I'm personally okay with doing that. Um, I know some people might have mixed feelings about it, but for me, it's not a big deal. So, so there's that. Um, I did, I think I mentioned earlier, but I did film that quarterly haul. So, um, you guys will see what we picked out. And then we did get some like Starbucks refresher drinks for all the like cross guards and stuff. Um, at Maddie's school as like a thank you and end of the year little hoorah thing. So um, that came out of the school sinking fund as well. So, um, and some of these could come out of gifts and stuff, but I know gifts was already negative. So I just decided to take it out of school. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for sinking funds. And then in May, like the May budget results video, we'll close all of those out together and update balances and all that fun stuff. But that is what the last full week of May is looking like. So again, my May results video will be up on Wednesday. So you guys will see overall how the month ended up, but 
yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me know how May is going for you in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. Let me know if you have any questions at all um, down below too. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.